What up, peeps? Welcome back to 31 Days of Horror. This is day seven, and continuing on with camps, camp horror. I watched uh, the burning, and the first sleepaway camp. Burning is very similar to Friday the 13th, appears to have borrowed very heavily from it. It has a groundskeeper or whatever that lives at the camp that takes care of grass and chores and stuff. The kids decide to pay, play a prank on him. His name is Cropsy. They put something in his shed and freak him out while he's asleep. He wakes up and it's got a candle in it and he gets burnt, burnt alive. Pretty much, he goes to the hospital, and like a year or two later, he gets released. And obviously, the first thing he wants to do is go home with a hooker, not fucker, but killer. His first victim's a hooker. Then he goes back to the camp and pursues to kill all the campers. Cropsy is like a mix between Kruger and Jason. He's the size of Jason, but he's far like Freddy, and his weapon of choice is his shears. has a young Jason Alexander, a.k.a. George Costanza from Seinfeld in it. Pretty good movie. And I watched the original Sleepway Camp, a.k.a. The Chick with a Dick. It's about Angela. Angela and her twin brother are playing in the lake with their father and these dumb kids from the camp lose control of a boat and hit him, kill the father and one of the twins. Uh, it gets confusing to me. The little girl gets killed, but and the little boy goes to her cousin Ricky's house to live, and the mom decides to turn the little boy into a little girl named it Angela and so they go to camp or he and Angela go to camp and you find out that at the end it's actually her brother because she's naked and then she's got a dong hanging down check what a dick it's a freaky twist ending I guess I just spoiled it for anyone who hasn't seen this but anybody that likes horror should have done seen Sleepaway Camp that's what I watched today. Happy Halloween. Peace.